grandmother, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Hey everyone, it's the Fa. We're going to paint a wolf face over our face. We're going to use a white base and use your fingers. You don't need a brush for this. Starting under your nose, you're going to make a boomerang shape and continue that under your lips and then extend that towards your temples. Don't forget to go under your eyes in that same kind of boomerang banana shape and then cover your brows as well. Even though I already have my eyebrows filled in, it's okay. Use a translucent powder and set everything that you just did. If you don't have a powder brush, you can use a sponge. Use a black eyeliner and fill in your waterline and then extend the line from your tear duct downwards and then do liner on the top and extend a wing. Use a black eyeshadow and set everything you just did. I'm using an angled brush. I always like to set my waterline with the eyeshadow. It just prevents smudging and smearing. With the black eyeliner, extend a curved line from the inner part of your eye. That's going to be the angry brows. And scrunch your nose up and draw some angry marks on your nose, between your forehead. I'm using a shiny black liquid liner. I'm going to draw in my nose. Draw a horizontal line and then go around the nose and make sure you square off the corners of the nose at the top. I'm just adding a bit more of the white around the nose and on the eyebrows, well, the wolf's eyebrows, that's your eyelids. And then add a bit more white around the chin and on the forehead. With the shiny black liquid liner, draw a horizontal line and start to draw in the wolf's mouth. Draw using short, steady lines. A little bit wider than the width of your nose, you're gonna start drawing in the wolf's gums and then the teeth. The teeth are going to meet at the edge of your lip. Just like that. Line your bottom lip and add in the bottom row of teeth. And always check for symmetry when you're done. Thicken up that lower arc. That's going to be the wolf's lip. And extend the line. Curve down the corners of the wolf's mouth so it looks like it's snarling. With a matte black liquid eyeliner, fill in the areas outside of the teeth. With a pinkish lip liner, shade in broken triangles. Then use a brown eyeliner and shade in the top portion of the gum. Using a black eyeliner, form a fuzzy triangle under the nose and add a cast shadow on the gums. Add hair-like strokes around the mouth and under the chin. And if you like, you can bold out your eyeliner. With the black acrylic paint, block out the wolf's face so that it pops out. Make sure you go all the way down your neck and along the sides of your face. This will help the illusion especially against a black background. Using the black eyeliner, draw in some more fur underneath the eye. Then blend out the edge of the mouth with the eyeliner. This will really help with the illusion. This part's very important. Make sure you add fur-like strokes all around the face. I'm taking it from the eye and extending it into the eyebrows. Short hair-like strokes. Then I'm doing light fur-like strokes around my eyeball towards my temples and then fill in the temples with the black eyeliner and blend out with your angled brush. With the angled brush, make fur-like strokes all alongside the nose. Keep painting the fur everywhere along the face, across the forehead. Make sure you blend whenever you come across eyeliner. Down the sides of the face, if you need to, use the shiny black liquid liner and redraw the mouth. Use more of the white base and paint in more fur. All along the face, sides of the cheeks, forehead. Be mindful of the direction that the fur is going. Diffuse the edge of the face. This will help with the illusion. With the brown eyeliner, draw in more fur for depth and color. You may need to wipe off your pencil and resharpen several times. 
Use your lip liner and shade in your bottom lip, then use the brown and black eyeliner to add depth. Then take a matte black liquid eyeliner and draw in little dots along the mouth. This is going to be the spot where the little whiskers come out of. Slim down the face again if you need to. Grandma, what big ears you have! I don't have ears. Yet. This is a napkin I folded into a triangle and taped together. I just glued some cotton balls and now I'm painting it black. Lightly so it turns out kind of gray. And then I'm gluing it to my forehead with some spirit gum. I'm tapping it to make it tacky.